Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo. We're back here in the division, hanging out the firing range, bringing you guys a high-end weapon review, specifically a named high-end weapon review. This is the Scar L variant known as the Caduceus. A little bit of a Greek astrological lesson. Caduceus is actually the rod of Hermes. It's the astrological symbol for commerce. And of course, Hermes was the messenger of the gods. So nice little tie-in. In fact, it's the first named high-end weapon that I've seen in the game that has a name that actually means anything other than just like Liberator and, and stuff like that. <laughs> but let's actually get into the review. We're going to start by taking a look at the visual appearance of the Caduceus because one of the unique things about named high-end weapons in the game is that they have their own custom paint jobs which cannot be changed by the player. I particularly like this because in a game like The Division, it's not a science fiction game. They can't just make up weapons that look different for the sake of making unique weapons. They have to do something to make a named high-end weapon stand out amongst the crowd of similar real-world firearms. In this case, the Caduceus, as I said, is simply a scar -L. So they have to do something to make it unique. And the custom paint job, I think, is a great way to do it. It's not just the paint job, but some of the visual elements are also stand out. So we've got this lovely blue and gold... Um, overall scheme here, you can see a lot of the metal plates, uh, the fire selector, the uh, magazine release, the the bolt release, the uh, sling points on the front. Uh, they're gold, you know, it stands out, it looks awesome. The charging handle is gold, it looks wonderful. I really like what they've done with that. Also, the barrel has been left unpainted. That sort of white gray appearance blends really well with the blue and gold. Overall, I love the visual appearance of this thing. When I picked it up, like I didn't actually see it in the beta like a lot of people. I didn't even know what it looked like. And I managed to get mine off of a hard mode boss drop. And I was just so stoked about the color. You guys know I love blue. And I particularly love this off blue that the weapon has. It looks amazing with the gold. And of course, you have the blue, white, and gold combination with that barrel. It just looks wonderful visually. And it really does help it stand out. Because other than that, it's a scar L. There's nothing crazy going on with its overall design. It hasn't been altered to look any different than a typical scar L. So, enough blabbing about its beautiful gold and blueness. Let's actually take a look at some of the numbers and, of course, the talents. Now, you have to remember that DPS, even without mods, as I'm showing you guys the weapon here, this is its bare form, is going to differ based on your agent DPS and how that's affected by your firearm stat. Just remember that. But no, the Caduceus is a high-end weapon. It still has really high DPS. 625 rounds per minute and a magazine size of 30 as stock. Accuracy, reload speed, range, and stability are simply sliders. They're good for quick comparison, but you guys are going to see me firing this thing here in the firing range, and that is definitely going to be the best way to actually showcase its overall accuracy, reload speed, range, and all of that good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at its talents before we move forward. So cool-headed, performing a headshot reduces all skill cooldowns by 5.5%. Restored, killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects and self-preserved. Critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 3% of damage dealt. An awesome set of talents. I particularly enjoy restored and self-preserved. Um, Cool-headed, of course, is also awesome. Headshots in this game, not the easiest thing to land when in really intense firefights, but it's definitely worth softening up a target and then going for that headshot in a situation where cooling down your skills more rapidly could really benefit the overall firefight. I particularly run Smart Cover, which already has a very short cooldown, so being able to decrease that even more, especially in a situation where we're moving around a lot and I need to redeploy the Smart Cover for the largest benefit, Cool Headed's going to be an awesome talent. I really like Restored because <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous, but actually, you know, equipping and eating a candy bar in the middle of a firefight is more time consuming than can be allowed in certain situations. When dealing with some of the hard mode bosses or the rushers, like with the LMB and the Rikers, and, you know, they put negative status effect on you, you got caught into a grenade, a flashbang, you know, whatever. Uh, taking the time to eat a candy bar means you're not firing at the enemy, and they will rush you. They recognize when you're down, when your weapon is down, when you're down, and they move in on you. So being able to instead load up another mag and then just aim for the guy with the least amount of health to eliminate that status effect is definitely beneficial in those insane, intense situations. And of course, self-preserved, you can't go wrong with the ability to essentially suck health 
from an enemy by landing critical hits. And I'm going to show you guys some modifications and some general ideas as to what type of mods you want to run on the Caduceus to not just improve the weapon's overall performance, but also to benefit these talents. Let's take a look at this thing, though, base format here in the firing range. We're going to start with some small uncontrolled bursts, so I'm just going to burst the trigger and we're not going to try and compensate for it. You can see smaller round bursts really 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 easy to control and of course if you go ahead and start center mass the chance of it even making it anywhere off the target before your first before your magazine runs out is very very slim it's really easy to compensate for recoil when bursting i mean you don't even have to compensate while firing you can simply fire 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 compensate fire 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 compensate fire 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 it's very controllable weapon even when we get into full auto this is with no mods or attachments Let's go ahead. I'm going to try and compensate for the recoil full auto right now. There's no doubt there's some horizontal stability issues. It definitely bounces around a lot and it will climb. But a lot of the weapons in this game, the automatic weapons, can be controlled similar to the way you deal with recoil and muzzle climb in a game like Counter-Strike. I know that sounds crazy, but once you recognize the sweet spot to hold down on your mouse or your joystick, you can genuinely control these weapons, even without mods. Let's check it out. Got away from me a little bit there, but you can see what I'm saying. You can really settle into a sweet spot. This is something I like to use to identify the overall stability of a firearm in this game, an automatic firearm, is that sweet spot. Some weapons it's easier to find than others, and I've had quite a few, including an LVOC, that was ridiculous. You could settle into the sweet spot, it was really easy to control, and just sit there all day long. And you could do it again and again and again with very little uh, user input. In the case of the Caduceus, it's a powerful weapon. It has some pretty hefty recoil just per shot, so you have to work with it. But even at distance, you can really control it. And again, this is no mods. You'll notice at distance, the horizontal stability issue starts to come into hand. So let's just fire a couple more small shots here. Show you guys, I mean, like I said, it's wicked easy to compensate and just land headshots, which is why that cool headed perk is really beneficial for this weapon. But let's actually put some mods on it and just see how much more effective we're gonna be able to make this thing very, very easily. These are just superior mods. I'm not even gonna be running high end mods. So there's still a lot of potential for this weapon to improve even further. Now I'm running a T2 micro red dot sight. It's going to give us headshot damage as well as increased accuracy. Again, if I'm going to be going for headshots anyways, for the sake of cooling down my abilities, I might as well get increased headshot damage when the time comes. And overall accuracy increase is always nice. When we go to the muzzle, I personally am just running a further accuracy increase with reduced threat because of my character build. You could run a compensator or even a suppressor that gives you horizontal stability or initial bullet stability if that's your thing. Again, this is just my particular build. That's something I would recommend if you're having trouble controlling that horizontal um, you know, bounce, if you're having trouble dealing with the muzzle climb pattern, consider horizontal stability as well as initial bullet stability on some of your attachments. For my underbarrel, I've got a small grip that's going to, again, give us increased accuracy as well as a 38% increase to horizontal stability. Definitely a nice little bonus. Last and definitely not least is my beefy beefy high velocity magazine so increased critical hit chance this is vital for the healing talent because it only procs when you land a critical hit so the more opportunities we have to land a critical hit the more opportunities we have to heal ourselves it's just an all-around win-win with that not to mention we've got a 77.5 percent increase to magazine size yes 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 30 rounds up to 53 rounds that's the great thing about weapons like the Caduceus, you know, the MP7, anything that has a magazine is that you can increase its overall capacity without increasing the length of the reload speed, unlike a shotgun. So there's no reason to not put 53 round magazine on your Caduceus, if at all possible. And let's just see how much more controllable this thing has become. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Barely any effort for me to just really... Get this thing to fire nice and straight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we now have a 53-round magazine. <laughs> so we're just putting even more firepower on the target. We even want to do some really heavy bursts, you know, towards the top of the target. We can get some nice critical hits there as well as some headshots, even at distance. It's just a really controllable weapon. I really have become obsessed with this thing. I know there are 
weapons that can sit in a groove a lot more easily than the Caduceus, but at this point in time, there's nothing that hits as hard as it for me. And that's something I want to point out. When you guys are sort of reviewing weapons for yourself, and even in my weapon reviews, I want to make sure that I'm never just talking about the numbers. Numbers are great. You know, comparing this to like the black market AK, which could potentially hit harder, is fine and dandy. But it's all about how can you as a user perform with the weapon. If it's easier for you to control something like the Caduceus and get more rounds on target and set it up with your mods, then chances are you're going to put more bullets per magazine on target, which means overall you're going to do more damage. And that's how I look at weapons. I'm not all about the numbers. And that has done me well, trust me. Um, I've been able to just be really effective because I'm not just saying, let's just go with this, this has higher numbers, so on and so forth. Let's throw up some smart cover for ourselves and just do, do some extra good damage here. I really love this thing. It's just, I don't know, it puts a smile on my face. I like its overall appearance. And like I said, I love automatic, the automatic firearms where you can just sit in a groove and just pull the trigger over and over and over again. That's really wicked, satisfying, and enjoyable. There's no doubt there are benefits to burst firing a weapon like this, but sometimes you just you just know you can hold down the trigger. And you know that you're going to be able to do way more damage that way, and that's that's awesome. I dig that. Let's pop a few targets out here. A little accuracy test with some burst fire. Oh, I could have had 13 if I didn't reload. <laughs> or 12 if I didn't reload. Probably 13, actually. I think I say 11, I think, was my record. I'm still getting comfortable with the way that this works. It's a really great place to, to practice your sort of pop-up skills. Because one of the found things I found easier, especially if you're playing with a gamepad, regardless of your platform, is to aim before you get out of cover. Um, and it makes it a little bit easier because you have a little bit more high sensitivity when you're in third person, at least if you have it set up that way like I do. And then I have some slower sensitivities for fine aiming and recoil control when I'm actually ADSing. So there you have it, guys. That is the Caduceus, uh, a high-end weapon that I strongly recommend. Of course, it, it comes from drops, so go ahead, get out there, start running your dailies, get in the dark zone, kill those bosses, and hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on this thing sooner than later. Um, you know, I've used a couple of the other high-end weapons now. I had the Black Market AK, which, like I said, potentially it could have done more damage for me, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not that meta. And I overall, I enjoy the appearance and the overall presence of the Caduceus more than the Black Market AK. And that's why I rocked and rolled with this. Not to mention, throw some of these mods on it. And this thing is just an absolute beast, even at range. If you guys have any other questions or thoughts from you regarding the Caduceus, do you have a Caduceus of your own? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is there anything I didn't talk about in this review that you'd like to ask me? Throw it down in the comment section below. A lot more weapon reviews coming to the channel as we push and start to get our hands on more of these beauties. I'm also looking forward to doing sort of a high-end mastery guide for the Caduceus. The idea being once we have all of the high-end modifications that I ever could want to make this thing perfect mode, you know, sort of the final evolution of the Caduceus, I'm very much going to share that build, that build with you guys. Anything else for me, guys? As I said, leave it down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one.